Okay, I need to hurry up. I know I need to get the carrots done. Um, Prioritise your jobs. Yeah. The chicken needs to come out of the bag. You need to dry it well. Yep, 50 grams. You're starting to get into a fluff now. It's one plate of food. That's all you have to cook. Yeah. The pressure was huge. I felt like I was going in all directions and being pulled this way and that way. Get rid of your recipe now. I don't want to see you looking oh, at it anymore. I know that I Just get rid of it. You don't I didn't need it. Read it properly. What for? Read it tonight when you get home. <laughs> cook from your heart now. Forget about recipes. You hear me? All right, come on, come on. I promise I'll be on a plane tomorrow. You'll never see me again, yeah? All right? <laughs> You don't need a timer anymore. You cook from your heart now, you hear me? You don't need measuring spoons anymore, yeah? Yep. Right, you don't need a pen. You're not an architect, you're a cook. <laughs> this is the alchemy, you know? This is the bit where the, the chef's intuition comes out. Get your potatoes in there now. Start reducing them down around it. Start cooking your chicken oysters, yeah? Start caramelising your chicken. It needs to be caramelised. Now's the time to start getting ahead. You don't want it to slip away, do you? No, definitely You not. need those seven points, don't you? Yes, I do. Challenge, boys. George is doing all the work, and boy, does he do all the work, eh? Guys, just over 15 minutes to go, yeah? You need to get a wriggle on. Either you want it or you don't. This is another challenge at the end of the day, but, uh, you know, put George in the mix, harassing them, um, just makes it a slightly different challenge because he's questioning everything they do, and, and, and I like that. What are you reading? Oh, I just wanted to make sure I do the right thing get with the oysters. Get you in a pot roasting. Have you got your crispy chicken in yet? Chicken. Um, the, the leg that you've grinded in the buttermilk? No, I haven't. Okay, um, so you need to flour that lightly and crispy fry it, yeah? He's very nervous. He kept doing things like two or three times and then like second guessing himself. I've never seen him like that. You're happy? Yep, I am. You're gonna get it done? Yes, I will. Paul has got seven points up on him, so I think he's a bit thrown by that. Looking good, Paula. Thank you. Come on. Yeah. Seasoned? Um, I think they need a bit longer. You know what, Paula? You think? That's why you're in the final. Yeah. I love how you use all the wrong utensils I know, for the wrong job. I, know. And I love you know it. You know why? It's because I don't have it and I just gotta use what I've got. Okay. No, no, listen to me. Yep. You're not going to look at that. At all? No. <gasps> You're going to plate it up with your heart. Okay. Yeah? okay. So come on, it's your canvas. George tells me I need to plate the way I want to plate it. Yeah, it's a bit scary. <laughs> Don't overthink it. Just get it on and make the decision. This is the closest thing that I've got to a good old hounding and a normal kitchen service. Yeah. I don't think these guys on the sideline over here, if they're thinking about entering a kitchen, they'll be thinking twice right now and doing what a lot of people do, just putting it in the too hard basket. He's taking your photo. Aaron, no photo, photo, mate. Look at it. You, you plate it up. Yep. Plate it up the way you feel. I don't care if it doesn't look the same as mine. You've got six minutes, though, yeah? So get a wriggle on. Yes, Aaron? Yes, Chef. After the last challenge, he will be really questioning his ability in the plating arena. Normally, plating side of things I kind of struggle with a bit. I mean, Aaron has got to pick up some points. He's, got, he's to. got to pick up some points. If he doesn't pick up any points, he's going to go into that final seven-point possible deficit. You can't climb back from that, surely. Four minutes to go, yeah? Yes? yes Come on, Aaron. Yep. I want to hear it, mate. Yep. Is Aaron actually going to play something that is worthy of his technical ability? I feel like it's an opportunity to show that I can make it look nice on the plate. You make it look better than mine, we're, we're going to have issues, my friend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. First, you, you go for it, mate. You go for it. Looks beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Right, guys, you've got three minutes to go, yeah? Come on. And I might even take a minute away. No, don't yeah? do that. Come on, hurry up. You got everything on there? I haven't got Borage flowers. Yeah, your peas, your broad beans, your caramelised creme fraiche, yeah. your, your chicken oyster, your crispy chicken, your chicken shank, the jus, yeah? Come on, darling, it looks absolutely beautiful. You've just got to finish it now, yeah? I'm exhausted watching this. One minute to go, guys, you hear me? The final little tweaks, the final little nuances, these are the little bits that count, yeah? Right, guys, ten seconds to go. Nine. Eight, wow. seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Thank you. It was like a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs>
You did it. It's a wonderful feeling to finish and to feel happy with how it looks on the plate. I'm really chuffed and I'm also, I notice I'm starting to feel very emotional once I've stepped back from the bench. It's a big thing, you know, to come this far and to maybe not get to the end, so I really want to get to the end. Paula, we'll taste your dish first, please. I take my plate up for tasting and I'm happy. I'm happy with how it looks. I think I did a good job. I know I was manic in the kitchen, but I do feel like George was on my back a bit. I bet you feel like you know George quite intimately now. <laughs> that was a pretty incredible two and a half hours, eh? Yeah, it was. It was very frantic. You think you nailed it? Um, I tasted everything and I'm pretty happy. Honestly, I thought you did a great job in the kitchen. You, Thank you. you. Just your tenacity, your, your will. If there's anything I can say after that experience is you just need to slow down a little bit and breathe and, and think, because you're a, a very good cook, you're an intuitive cook. It's all over the judges now. We need to make a decision. Okay, cool. Thank you. <sighs> I think she's got, you know, most of these components right. The biggest thing for me is the cauliflower puree. It's just leaving a funny taste in my mouth. I think the chicken, because a little bit too much got left on the carcass, it wasn't quite as fat as yours, and it's not quite as moist as you'd expect, but everything else was delicious. There were two things for me. I think it is that burnt milk. I'm getting a slight metallic sort of cauliflower flavor, and my piece of chicken was just ever so slightly dry. But apart from that, I, I reckon she did a great job. Yeah. The cauliflower cream, uh, there was way too much milk in the pot and she's either scraped the bottom, who knows what's happened, but it's it's not perfect. The chicken, it's just minutes away of, of probably being in the water bath too long just because of its size. But can I say, if I gave this task to an apprentice, they'd struggle in two and a half hours. She's done a great job, I'm proud. Well, let's see what uh, Aaron's got to show us. I'm happy with how it looks. I still have a lot of catching up to do, but I'm feeling optimistic, positive, that's how I feel. <laughs> day like today in the kitchen, full on from start yeah. to finish. How does it feel? It's an amazing experience. I felt very emotional at the end of the challenge. It's so close to the end and it's all just sort of welled up in me and it's amazing having you here, George. You have so much heart in what you do and I think that really came through in the challenge today. I really appreciated your help and the beautiful dish you made and the chance to, to do it has been so much fun. <laughs> really intense, yeah. So. I sit here right now and I'm actually, I'm getting a bit emotional because I can feel your emotion. And you know, think about it, the most amazing dining experiences aren't just what the, the food is on the plate, it's yeah. the feeling you get from that totally. waiter, the chef, the, yeah. the maitre d', the whole sensation. Yeah. And you want to feel warm, you want to feel the generosity of the spirit. And that's what I feel right now. Right. Regardless of what the result is, yeah. the both of you are going to be successful, but you know, I can see something very special in you. Remember one thing, it's not about going out there and opening restaurants. You yeah. can be an, you can just go and do one thing. Yeah. Yeah, and do it amazingly well um, and, and show the world how much you love it. Thank you. All right? yeah. And keep dreaming. Huh? Yes, absolutely. Yeah? Mind in the clouds, feet on the ground. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> nice words, thank you. Good yeah. luck. Great, thanks a lot. The chicken is perfectly cooked, beautifully moist and melts in your mouth. I think the only thing I really didn't like was the fact that the sauce was a little jammy. I think we're all in agreement. the chicken's cooked beautifully. The sauce is reduced too far. I mean, that would have just top the dish off, because everything else is lovely. I think the element that he's really got right is the caramelised cream of fresh. You know, he's put lots of that on there. And if I had made that and then tasted it, I would just put lots on, because that is one of the elements that makes the dish. You've just sort of brought it to my attention. I didn't really get much cream fresh in Paula's dish. For me, uh, hands down, I, I prefer Aaron's. It's bolder, it's uh, full of more flavours, the balance is more correct. Yeah, I have to agree. Chicken was a hero. His flavours are robust and clear. Look, you know, I'll, I want to be a bit United Nations. I think they both did an amazing job. We didn't fly all the way from Melbourne to be United Nations, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Call it as it is. Look, you'd eat both of them. Let's be quite honest. If you sat in a restaurant, you'd eat both of them. But technically, I think Aaron's done a better job. <laughs>